Hey everyone, how's it going? I first wanted to say, Alec, you have the cutest little girl ever. I finally got to meet Caitlin when Ashley brought her to my girls' night in and the couponing night that I had this past week. And she is so cute and she really does have so much beautiful hair. And I just wanted to squeeze her little cheeks because she was so cute, but she wasn't feeling it. So I didn't get to hold her, but hopefully I'll get to see her again sometime soon and uh, she'll be in a little better mood. But she is super cute, congratulations. Oh, so if the world doesn't end at 6 p.m. on Saturday, um, Ryan and I will be celebrating our anniversary. It's six years of marriage on Saturday. We'll hit our anniversary before the world ends, if it's going to end. But if not, we'll be having dinner at a restaurant that we've never been to before. It's called Rococo's. I don't know if you all think it's good or not. Let me know. And then uh, we decided instead of getting each other gifts that we're going to go to the Thunder game. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I've only been to one before, and this is the playoff, so it's kind of a big deal. So um, I think that'll be a fun way to spend our anniversary, and the kids are going to his mom, so we get to sleep in the next day, which will be awesome. So happy anniversary. I love you. I can't wait to see where the years take us. After six years, we have a house, two cars, two kids, and three businesses. So um, it's exciting to see what we're going to uh, accomplish together in the future years so love you so part of marriage is disagreeing and figuring out how to work out those disagreements and something that Ryan and I are at a crossroads with right now is how our children will be educated I grew up in private school I've never known any different and that's what I've always wanted my kids to go to a private school Ryan grew up in public school he grew up thinking all private school kids were brats and snobs so he does not want his children in private school plus he says why pay for something when you can get it for free so his idea of compromise is to homeschool the kids well that does not sound like fun to me so the thought of homeschooling my kids doesn't appeal to me at all I kind of always thought once they went to school I'd get a part-time job or you know do something else um, while still being involved in their school wherever they ended up going. So we're kind of at a disagreement right now about that. Aubrey is supposed to start pre-k in the fall at Mustang and I'm sure it's perfectly a perfectly good school but I have a really I don't know just a bad feeling about it. I don't know if it's just me or her. If anyone knows Aubrey they know that she's a bossy feisty little kid and you know, any worries that I have about her getting bullied because she's so little or anything like that are probably not valid. Um, she will probably be the bully, if anything. Um, and I know a lot of it has to do with us, the parents, how we raise them, and how much we're involved in their schooling. So I'm sure she'll be fine wherever she goes. It's just really hard for me um, to let that go and to put her in a public school. I don't know why, but I just don't have a good feeling about it. So I want to know from you guys, like, were you in public, private school? Were you homeschooled? Did you go to a co-op? How did that work for you and your family? What are you going to do for your kids? And um, hopefully by the time the summer's over, we'll know what we're going to do and we'll feel good about our decision. But right now, it's really, really hard for me. Ryan's kind of, you know, whatever about it. But um, I pretty much want to cry every time I think about taking her to public school. So I don't know if that's just me being a snot or what, but... I just don't want to. So any advice, tips, or uh, resources that you can give me, I would greatly appreciate. So that's all I have for you guys. Hopefully I'll see you next week if we don't all go up and smoke. If not, see you in heaven. Peace.